Hello, I'm Celine Wyatt and uh, this is... My name's Chris. This is my husband. We've been coming to this dental practice for nearly 16 years and I, I was really, really nervous uh, coming to dentists and had really not brilliant experiences as a child. So I wanted to choose somewhere, we decided to choose somewhere where we wanted our children to have really good care and to feel relaxed and uh, safe and this practice does all of that for our family and for me um, the staff here have helped me to overcome any nervousness that I had um, about coming to the dentist and I've recently had my first tooth out which was not easy but the level of genuine care around um, the extraction and the aftercare has really helped me and, and supported me. Um, what do you think, Chris? Have you had similar experiences? Yeah, um, for me, I'm, I'm not nervous about going to dentists, and, but I think, you know, dentistry has, has moved on through the years, and I remember going as a, a child and being petrified because, you know, they gave you gas to take your teeth out and, and everything was forced and whatever. You know, with this practice, you walk in, for me, it's a professional package. You know, you've got the front of, of, of house with all those customer focus skills, great organisation, always informing of appointments, always being flexible, you know, because we both work full time. Uh, and if you do need treatment, you know, the actual practitioners themselves, they're, they're highly skilled, you know, they inform you what they do, they show you x-rays, all of those things. And, you know, that combination of the two for me is a real professional chemistry. You know, you are getting that customer focus, that, that, that rapport, but you're also getting, uh, you know, uh, high quality treatment as well. Mm. And I think another thing that's worth mentioning is that the nerves and anxiety that you have about coming to the dentist don't just disappear, they're always there. But what they do here is support you in lessening and lessening that kind of feeling. Mm -hmm through having Becky here in particular, who as a dental uh, therapist can add another uh, contribution to support par patients. So for instance, when I was having my tooth out, that's where I went to have my tooth out and the preparation for that and the extraction was in a different room. And so there's a lot of follow up, there's a lot of um, information that's shared so that Becky will take you through step by step what's going to happen and uh, so you can visualize that and you can go at your own pace there isn't a rush and so that's a really good option here um, and the hygienist her husband Colin is great isn't he mm -hmm. um, and the you know the dentists themselves uh, are very clear about not rushing you but at the same time, letting you understand that things happen, because they have to happen, it, it, there's a reason there, but I've never experienced any pain. I think an experience of visiting the dentist is not just about that reassurance, I think a lot of it is about the ambience of the place as well. And the one thing I notice is, you know, you've got calming colours, you know, you've got fresh flowers, you know, everything is such that, you, you know, it's absolutely spotless and, and well maintained without being over clinical in any way. It's comfortable. So when you're in the waiting room, you know, there isn't that blank mm. wall, mm. the telly's on in the background, mm. you know, mm. there's the soft furnishings. And I think that really kind of adds to it in terms yeah. of that package yeah. and that experience. And when you go into into the practice, the treatment room, you know, it's state of the art stuff as well, which is fantastic. So we see Dr. Taranian and that's who my mum saw wasn't mm -hmm. it? and who uh, who we recommended mm -hmm. and we've recommended him to many other people haven't we but she she, mm -hmm. she absolutely uh, spoke mm -hmm. very highly of the way that he didn't rush helped her through the process and it was a massive step having all yeah. those teeth out he's a he's a very genuine man as well uh, you know it's not by course that he says how are you these are uh, very much questions with a, a follow-up about mm -hmm. you know oh my son's grown another inch or whatever and that's really nice to know it's like you know it's it's building that important rapport with him so he's yeah. always very yeah. very polite yeah. and very genuine and i think that's the other thing you know uh, it, it is a private practice um but I think it's worth investing in the dentistry mm. here 
in terms of that healthcare. Um, it's something that we chose to, to spend our money on because I felt that was mm -hmm. really important um, for our children as well to have really good dental care. And I, I know that when Kieran was first seeing uh, Dr. Tarani and that Kieran was probably just kind of managed to get up on the green chair <laughs> and now his feet hang off and he's six foot two and that's kind of, you know, a yeah. family connection with, yeah. with the practice. And we've moved away. I mean, we used to live locally, but now we, we've moved away. We're kind of eight miles down the road. And if we moved again, we'd still have this practice because it's kind of so important to stick with, you know, a practice that you really, really trust and, and mm. your family trusts as well. Definitely. And we'd have no hesitation in recommending the, the practice as a whole to our friends and family and indeed have done that. Um, on many occasions. Indeed.